committee members are present, Commissioner Varga. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call Ways and Means uh, Committee to Order. Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Scott. I know she's here. I'll come back to her. Commissioner Baker McCormick. Here. Commissioner Marecki. Here. Commissioner Bayjoon. Here. Commissioner Anderson. Here. Commissioner Palomera. Here. Chair Varga. Here. We have a quorum present. Thank you. Next, Next item, please. Item B, Chairwoman's remarks. Uh, I have none. Next item, item C, approval of the minutes of the June 4th, 2020 meeting. So moved. Support. Anderson. <clears throat> Thank you. Yes, yes. friend. Moved and supported. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Next item, please. Item D, unfinished business. There is none. Move into item E1 under new business. We're requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020 35 144 certifying revenue in the COVID 19 fund. Could you please move the screen up? Oh, yes. Thank you. Move for approval. Support. It's been moved by Commissioner Palomero, supported by Commissioner Baydoon. Uh, discussion. <clears throat> Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Scott. She's trying to get on. Um, she may have herself on mute. I tried to unmute her, but I was unable to. She has to unmute herself. Somebody text her. Hello? Commissioner Scott. I'm, I'm on. I hear you guys. I don't know why you can't hear me. Okay. Uh, you might be on mute, but. No, I, I, I don't push mute. Okay. Now you muted yourself again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have you on the phone. Uh, we can hear you. Um, we're voting on item one. We called your name. Commissioner Scott? Commissioner Baker McCormick? McCormick. Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner Baydoon? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Palomero? Yes. Chair Varga? Yes, Commissioner Scott voted yes, and then I uh, disconnected. So I'm Thank not you. sure if she's back on or not. Thank, Thank you. you. We're going to take, um, we're going to discuss items two, three, and four, and then we will vote on them uh, together. Item two. Item E2, Please. requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-149, certifying revenue in the property tax forfeiture fund. Any discussion? I would just ask if there's somebody from the department that uh, from the treasurer's office, I believe it is, that would be able to uh, discuss this. Anyone here? Brief maybe just a brief explanation. I think it's beneficial to anyone that is watching from home too. Or Kelly, I don't know. Kelly, Kelly, uh, sent, an, Kelly sent an email, she could not be here, but, uh, and I apologize, apologize if I mispronounced your name, but Vanita Terry. Yes, this is Vanita Terry, um, Assistant Budget Director in M&B, sitting there for Kelly today. I could get back with you with more information on that on item two. Later this afternoon. Mm 
Okay. Sorry. Mr. Anderson, um, would you like us to um, pass this item or you want to get the information for Thursday's oh, meeting? Whatever your pleasure is, Madam Chair. Um, I would like to make sure that um, someone is here at full board to explain it. Otherwise, I think it's, um, uh, I don't mind going okay. forward. Okay. Item, item three. I have Commissioner Scott on my phone. Commissioner Rogers, I'll let you know so that her voice can be heard for the vote. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Item E3, requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-154, certifying revenue in the general fund. Thank you. Any discussion on item three? Next item. Um, yes, um, Madam Chair. Yes. This is Commissioner Baker McCormick. Um, yes. Just wanted uh, clarification um, on this grant. Um, I know that it's for peacetime veterans. Um, can you just uh, explain a little bit more in detail? We're accepting a grant from uh, the state of Michigan uh, so we can allocate to our veterans, the um, services for emergency assistance. I can chime um, in. This is uh, Kamal Keparu, finance director for the department. I don't know if, if Quasi is on the phone, but uh, the chair basically said that this is for peacetime um, veterans. Basically, it's the same type of services we provide for those who in wartime vets. So when me and uh, Quasi and myself talk with the grantor, mm -hmm that's what was stated to us. So this is money that we can use the same type of services that we're doing currently, but you don't have to be a wartime um, veteran. Okay, great. And I uh, really appreciate um, this, this grant because it is a definite need for it. Uh, I just wanted to clarify if it was just restrictive for certain things. Um, but we can use it for burial expenses or rents or um, other um, utilities services and programs. Commissioner, the burial is, comes out of our general fund and uh, this is gonna be for emergency assistance. You're correct. Now, Kwesi, I can't say for, he's gonna use it for the burial, but when we talk initially, he is going to, he's kind of, going to use it to fill in the gaps of where we're missing the mark on the other area. Like say, for example, we got uh, veterans who is not wartime who couldn't get assistance. So looking at those type of services. Well, when I, I looked I, at the budget. I don't recall he um, allocated any of that towards burial, but I will uh, check with him just to see. And I asked about burial because, because of COVID there's, um, a, a lot of uh, expenses related to that that uh, may be in, in uh, uh, that a veteran may need at this point in time so or their spouses um, thank you just got to understand I'll make sure he um, when I talk with him he get that note don't tell me the press knows he's here no, sir, we can't communicate with his response. Thank you. Item number four. Madam Chair, I've got me. Uh, Could we can mute you, everyone except for the commissioners, please? Yes, one moment. Well, if you have a proposal to make, make it quickly. I have a speech. Thank you, Commissioner Anderson. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I was just wanting to find out how we're going to get the word out to uh, our veterans organizations that uh, this uh, money is now available for uh, those that are not, uh, have not been uh, in a wartime or, or that are peacetime veterans, I should say. 
um, through the chair, Commissioner, this is our Kamal Kepuru again. I follow up with the um, with the director. I know he's been hitting the pavement hard, um, but in reference to if he added this to his brochure and other documentation, I don't know at this point. But I'll find out how he's going to inform the community about this. Maybe, maybe uh, if possible too, if we could uh, we could get a. Uh, a flyer from the department or something that we could then distribute to some of our veterans organizations. I think that might uh, benefit, uh, you know, might help get the word out too. Okay, I'll take care of that today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, also a phone number that um, they can call on this, if there's a special phone number that would be helpful. Some of us have newsletters uh, that we're working on. This would be a really good one to uh, include in that. So if you could get back to us today, that would be very much appreciated. All right, I'm gonna send him an email and um, who should I include um, on it? I'll, if you send it to the clerk, she, she can send it to all of us. Got you, all right, thank and, you. And um, just one other question, uh, Madam Chair, is sure. there, is there a um, uh, a limit or a parameters uh, as to how much uh, each veteran can get, or it's just based on need? It's based on need, but as the director, he decide the different <coughs> limits and how many times a veteran can return. But he do have parameters in place. Okay, great. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me, Commissioner Marga? Yes. We didn't, we don't have Commissioner Scott recorded on number two as a yes vote. If she wants to, if you would like her to vote on the item, we'll have to reconsider it and vote again. We have not voted on items two, three, and four yet, and we are going to take it together, so she will be able to vote on it. Thank you. We only voted on one so far. She I was believe. on your phone when we voted. I didn't hear her. She was yeah, on my I was phone. On earlier, and now I'm on yours. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Uh -huh. Any more questions on item three? I'm sure we'll get as much information as uh, possible on uh, what we can use these. Let me just ask, how much, how much is that grant for? The, the total grant was uh, 519000 And that's this, this is just a, a total, it's a brand new grant. So it's in addition to what we already got. But it's, again, it's, it's designed for non-wartime veterans. Right, okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Any more questions on two and three? We're moving on to four and then we will vote on those three items. Item four. Item four, requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-157 certifying revenue in the COVID-19 fund. Any discussion on item four? Um, could it, could you scroll it up a bit? I can't see the whole. Sure. One moment. I've got several things on my screen. One moment, please. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Madam Chair, I, if there's not any questions, I move for approval of that item. It's a federally uh, qualified health center clinics. Um, it's something that I think we're all familiar with. It's a grant. I'll support that. Okay, uh, two, three, and four? Yes. Okay, uh, it's been supported by Commissioner, it's been moved by Commissioner Anderson, supported Mar by Martha G. Scott. Before we vote, I just want to make sure Mary sent a message that the agreement will be on today's HHS meeting and that will be the veterans? Yes. 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 Okay, so uh, 
some of us can attend those to learn a little bit more about the agreement as well. The motion has been made and supported. Uh, clerk, please call the roll on items two, three, and four. Commissioner Scott? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Baker McCormick? Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner Bayjoon? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Palomero? Yes. Chair Varga? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. We will take a uh, motion on five and six when we come to it. Uh, we'll go to item number five. Item E5, requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-131, reallocating expenditures in the general fund and in the law enforcement fund. Thank you. Samaya? Good afternoon. Uh, through the chair, historically we had this, the cost of this uh, contract to um, clean and maintain the gun range in miscellaneous operating. And per Kelly, the budget director, she said, no, you have to use miscellaneous professional services. That's why it came about with a budget adjustment. We had some money, but we just had it in the wrong line item. Okay, thank you. And I move support for both items, uh, uh, five and six. This is Commissioner McCormick, Baker okay. McCormick. Okay, um, any discussion on item five? I support it. You know, I, I'll, I'll there, support it. I think, I think Commissioner Baker McCormick maybe was making the motion to approve. Yes, right. I'm, I'm sorry. That's, yes. Mm -hmm. Now we have to read in six for the record. Because we're e taking it together. Item E6, requesting commission approval of budget adjustment 2020-35-135, reallocating expenditures in the general fund. Through the chair, this is Sumaya again. Um, yes. Um, this contract, we pay $1,200 annually to store our boats in the summertime in the Sandy Marina. Uh, again, the money was allotted and budgeted in one line item, and Kelly, the budget director, wanted it in a different line item, and that's what we did. And that's why you have the budget adjustment. Okay. Now we have a motion. Mr. Stafford, stand by. Uh, we have a motion on item five and six supported by Commissioner Anderson. Uh, please call the roll on five and six. Commissioner Scott? Yes. Commissioner Baker McCormick? Yes. Commissioner Marecki? Yes. Commissioner, I mean, Commissioner Baydoon? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Palomero? Yes, sorry, on mute, sorry. Yes. Chair Varga. Yes. Motion carries. Next item. I'm sorry. Next item. Item F, such other matters as may be properly submitted before the committee. Thank you. Uh, we do have Mr. Carl Stafford uh, on call and uh, he has more information for us and under such other matters, I will permit it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Do you have some other information on, uh, on our agenda item? Uh, was there an outstanding question, Terrence, regarding uh, the requested budget adjustment? I can answer that, yes. This is Mark Abbo. Uh, yes, Carl, certifying revenue in the amount of $180,569 from the, uh, uh, we're receiving it for the um, earmark for Wayne Metropolitan Community Eight Action Agency. So we received some forfeiture money. So, so the question was, uh, if you can elaborate on, on the uses of that money. Okay. Um, the contract. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. All right. The contract that we have with Wayne Metro is funded from two sources. The first source is $100,000 for two years, uh, a year for two years, and that's coming from forfeiture foreclosure funds of the treasurer's office. 
the second portion, the $189,000 is coming from, from the grant. Uh, Wayne Metro will provide foreclosure prevention counseling uh, to the residents in Wayne County. So that is, is for uh, paying staffing services. Uh, they provide advice on budgeting, how to avoid foreclosure, how to apply for various um, payment reduction plans and the like. Thank you. Um, we're under us, under such other matters. Anyone have any questions for Mr. Stafford? Okay, well, thank you for making that uh, clarification. Um, I just want to make sure that everyone has a chance since we are on uh, um, online. Um, and Madam Chair, I just wanted to clarify, Carl, this is not a forfeiture money. This is all grant money. Uh, the 189000 is all grant money. As a matter of fact, um, I received correspondence from the city of Detroit a week or so ago, and that uh, funder wants to provide an additional $89,000, but we will uh, put that in the next fiscal year. Okay, thank you. I think I believe I misspoke earlier. Thank you very much for the clarification. You're quite welcome. Thank you. All righty. Um, Members, if you have no other matters, then we will go to public comments. Clerk, please unmute everyone. One second. All participants have been unmuted. Thank you. Anyone from the public wishing to comment? Do we have any emails? No, Chair Bard, we have no public comments that were emailed to me. Thank you. I'll ask again. Uh, anyone from the public wishing to comment? Please do so now. I hear none. Next item. Item H, adjournment. Move to adjourn. No, no. move. <laughs> move this. I'll support All Margaret. Favor, say aye. <laughs> aye. Thank you aye. so much, Dr. KB. I appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> Enjoy your day, dear. Bye, everybody. Thank you. We're adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>